In the heart of the Australian outback stood Mount Kalkajaka, a mysterious and foreboding mountain shrouded in legends. According to the Aboriginal people of the region, the mountain was a place of ancient spirits, a realm where the living world intersected with the supernatural. Generations ago, an elder of the Kuku Yalanji tribe shared the tale of Kalkajaka with his people. He spoke of an age when the mountain was an enchanted paradise, rich in flora and fauna. The spirits of the land lived in harmony with the earth and sky, creating a haven of magic and tranquility. But as time passed, darker forces began to stir. The elder spoke of an entity known as the Shadow Walker, a malevolent spirit that had been imprisoned within the depths of Kalkajaka by the ancient ancestors. The Shadow Walker fed on fear and darkness, and its maleficent power grew stronger with every passing century. The Elder warned that should the balance between the spirit world and the living realm be disrupted, the Shadow Walker could break free from its chains, unleashing chaos upon the land. To prevent this, the Kuku Yalanji people had erected sacred markers around the mountain, acting as a barrier to keep the ancient evil at bay. In the modern age, the legends of Kalkajaka had faded into obscurity. Tourists now flocked to the area, drawn by the natural beauty and unaware of the hidden dangers. Among the visitors were a group of thrill-seekers, Emily, a curious journalist, Liam, a skeptical scientist, Sarah, a thrill-loving photographer, and Jake, an adventurous backpacker. As the group hiked through the rugged terrain, they felt an unsettling energy in the air. The landscape seemed to shift, as if whispering secrets from a forgotten time. Sarah captured the beauty of the surroundings with her camera, while Emily scribbled notes in her journal, captivated by the sense of mystique that hung in the air. One evening, as the group set up camp near the base of Kalkajaka, they noticed strange phenomena. Shadows danced on the periphery of their vision, and faint whispers echoed through the darkness. Jake, dismissing it as a trick of the mind, decided to explore the mountain alone the next day. Guided by an inexplicable compulsion, Jake ventured deep into the heart of Kalkajaka. As he climbed higher, the atmosphere grew increasingly oppressive, and the rocks themselves seemed to emanate an unsettling energy. He stumbled upon the sacred markers, weathered by time, but their significance was lost on him. The sun set, casting elongated shadows across the landscape. Jake's heart raced as he sensed a presence lurking in the darkness. The air turned frigid, and his breath materialized like mist before him. A chilling voice whispered in his ear, recounting ancient tales of despair and suffering. Trembling, he realized that he had crossed a boundary into the forbidden realm of the Shadow Walker. Back at camp, Emily, Liam, and Sarah grew increasingly worried as night fell and Jake had not returned. Sarah's camera captured unnerving images, distorted figures in the background, shadowy hands reaching out from the darkness. Emily's research revealed the legends of the Shadow Walker, and the group realized the gravity of the situation. Determined to rescue their friend, they ventured into Kalkajaka, armed with the fading knowledge of the Kuku Yalanji legends. Emily's skepticism had dissolved, replaced by a desperate belief in the supernatural. They encountered spectral apparitions that twisted the minds of the living, blurring the line between reality and nightmare. The group discovered Jakey, trepid in a trance-like state, his eyes vacant and hollow. The Shadow Walker manifested before them, a swirling mass of darkness and despair. Its voice echoed through their minds, feeding on their deepest fears and regrets. But the group's determination to save their friend and preserve the balance of the world gave them strength. With the guidance of ancient incantations, whispered by the wind, they channeled the energy of the sacred markers. Light clashed with darkness, and the mountain trembled as the barrier weakened. The Shadow Walker fought back, summoning nightmarish creatures from the depths of human terror. Reality fractured as the battle between light and darkness raged on. The group's memories and identities were twisted, and they were forced to confront their inner demons. Emily faced the trauma of her past. Liam confronted his skepticism. Sarah grappled with her obsession with fear, and Jake struggled to break free from the Shadow Walker's grip. But amidst the chaos, the group found strength in their bonds and the lessons they had learned they realized that the Shadow Walker thrived on fear and division, and by uniting their wills, they could weaken its power. With a final surge of courage, they shattered the barrier that defeated the entity, 
As the barrier shattered, blinding light flooded Kalkajaka. The Shadow Walker's howls of rage echoed through the mountain, fading into oblivion. The group emerged from the fractured reality, changed but triumphant. The spirits of the land, awakened by their courage, guided them back to the living realm. The legends of Kalkajaka took on new life as the group shared their story with the world. The mountain's magic was restored, and the Kukuyalanji people rejoiced as the ancient spirits found peace once more. The tale of the Shadow Walker became a cautionary fable, a reminder of the dangers of unchecked darkness and the power of unity in the face of fear. And so, Mount Kalkajaka stood as a testament to the enduring struggle between light and darkness, a place where the past and present converged and where the legends of old held the keys to understanding the mysteries that lay hidden within its rocky heart.